Hey guys, it's me James with this beautiful crazy life. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to this channel, what do we talk about here? Well, we talk about politics, religion, theology, media, music, literally everything from a Christian lens. And if that sounds interesting to you, hey, check out this whole video. And if you like it, make sure to like and subscribe and share to all your friends. And one of the things I want to talk about was this idea of courting versus dating. So I recently went on like this sort of binge of Christian marriage testimonies where Christian couples go and they share their story, how they got married or how they came to Jesus or how their marriage was transformed or saved. And I always find those videos really encouraging, but then also led me to Christian dating advice videos. And there's like tons of them. And to be quite frank, they do really well. And I would say there's like whole Christian channels dedicated to this whole idea of how to have a successful Christian marriage or how to date in a Christian honoring God honoring way. And I thought to myself, I need to jump on this bandwagon and see if I can get some likes and subscribers. I didn't mean to say that out loud. What I meant to say was I want to make sure I can help people figure out what's more biblical dating or courtship. Now, why is this important, right? Well, it's because most people in the world wish to be married. They wish to find that special person to share their life with, right? You know, people want to have kids. People want to have a family. People want someone maybe to share their dreams with and travel and do all those things there. And so people are looking for advice like, should I spend time alone with the person I'm with when I'm on dates? Should I try online dating like Tinder and Bumble? Or should I do something like Christian Mingo? I don't know anyone at Christian Mingle and no one should do Christian Mingle at all. Did you guys know Christian Mingle actually has a movie and it's absolutely horrible review coming soon. Make sure to like subscribe. So you know, when that's coming out, I mean, uh, should I date in groups? Should I, uh, consult my pastor when I date someone? Uh, should I, how should I get to know their friends? When do I meet the parents? There are so many questions people have because people literally want to honor the Lord. And one of these reoccurring questions I saw is dating versus courtship. And there's like tons of Christian videos on this idea of biblical dating or courtship and which one is more biblical. And guys, I have the answer for you. Are you guys ready? Who's ready? All right, I'm going to tell you guys, just it, it's coming. Neither that, that that's a silly question. Okay, now hold on before anyone gets mad at me. Check this out. The Bible just doesn't say anything about what's a preferred way to date someone. The Bible doesn't say make sure you court someone and courtship in itself is a relatively new idea as we understand it. That only goes back to maybe the 18th and or maybe 17th century if we're being generous. The way people have gone into relationships through marriage has changed throughout time, cultures and world events and it's constantly changing even to this day the question isn't should i date or should i court the question is through this process of getting to find someone to become my wife or my husband am i honoring god not whether you're dating or in courtship because you can do either one of those things sinfully and the Bible just doesn't give that type of advice. I mean, the first relationship we see is from Adam and Eve, where Adam literally had an, his part of his body taken out and was given Eve his wife. Good for them, but most of us aren't going to get some wife by God taking someone out of our side. Wouldn't that be way easier, though? The dating business would be completely out, but it would be a lot easier process because believe me, as someone in their 30s and trying to date, wouldn't, rec wouldn't recommend it. But the Bible just doesn't give a lot of explanation on how to do this. I mean, you have the Song of Solomon, uh, you have Proverbs, you have the letters of Paul, you know, you have these ideas and these stories where you see people get married. I mean, you have the Book of Ruth, which is not a romance story, but you get to see what happens when two people who are following the Mosaic law and who love God and are honoring, have honoring great characters do the right thing and how God blesses them. It's not a modern romance tale or some wacky romantic comedy and so because of that because the bible doesn't give you strict instructions on how exactly to find a partner what we do is we pull principles from the bible and just conventional wisdom like today we have psychology there's like a lot of great dating advice videos out there that really helps with identifying red and green flags there's people doing awesome work on youtube and books there's self-help books i'm not against self-help books there's your friends you know there's all these resources available to you because 
all wisdom that is good wisdom is God's wisdom. It's called the idea of common grace, guys. Look up your theology books. Instead of worrying about, you know, should I date or should I court? Should I kiss on the first date or should I kiss during marriage? The best advice I can give you, and this is some really solid advice um, an old pastor of mine gave to me, and he said this, him and his wife said this, make your relationship your own. And I think it's really that simple. Enjoy the dating process. Be open to meeting new people and trying new experiences. Pray. Use wisdom. Know yourself. Look, if you're trying to be sexually pure and you're one of those people like where a touch just turns you on, have rules and boundaries. If you're one of those people where that's not a problem, then you don't need to worry about if you need to wait until marriage to kiss because that's just not how you work. And so knowing yourself, knowing your partner, knowing your past, having good friends in your life, and just making it your own thing, to me, is the best advice anyone can give you. Anyway, guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his counts upon you and be gracious to you. See you guys later. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this, I almost forgot. Check out my new plant. I named it Richard because I thought that was a, a weird name to give a plant. Also, check out my other videos here and here. I do other things besides dating videos. This plant looks pretty good. I got it about two weeks ago. First ever house plant. Anyway, check out my other videos if you're interested in topics about everything from media, news, theology, just any of the hard questions in life. I try to answer them from a Christian lens. If that um, interests you, uh, check them out. Anyway, see you guys later.